when Alan Bruce was a photographer and Buddhist who set himself on fire <clears throat> on April 22nd, 2022, it was the Earth Day of this year. Uh, Bruce went to the Supreme Court building in Washington, D.C. and set himself on fire. And it is presumed by people that knew him that uh, this was a protest against the climate crisis. Bruce uh, was an outspoken voice on uh, climate and the inaction by the United States government for years. And it seems like he telegraphed his intent like m as far back as April of 2021 with further confirmations of his intent to do something like this earlier this year. In January, he posted a photo of the monk and activist Thich Nhat Hanh, I, I'm, I apologize, I'm probably mispronouncing it, uh, who wrote uh, in 1965, uh, to burn oneself by fire is to prove that what one is saying is of the utmost importance. So this seems like he was sending a message that the thing he was doing was of, of vital importance. He later added to that post uh, another quote by Han that said, the most important thing in response to climate change is to be willing to hear the sound of the earth through earth's tears through our own bodies, which seems like a pretty strong message to me. So I would direct you to the Wikipedia page or any number of articles that have been written about this since it happened, if you want to know the details of the incident. But it was reported by witnesses that he didn't cry out or scream at all uh, for about 60 seconds while he was on fire and only expressed pain once uh, after the fire was put out. Uh, he was then airlifted to the hospital and he died the next day. I did mention earlier that uh, it's presumed that he did this as a protest against climate change or against the climate crisis. And this is backed up by a number of people, including friends and family, the Buddhist temple that he attended said that they did not know that he, what he was planning, but they under, but that they understood, uh, why someone might resort to this. They said like, they don't recommend, uh, self-immolation, <laughs> but, but they do understand why, uh, it would feel like an important topic to an, an action that one would take. Since I started writing this script, there has been a number of uh, articles that came out about Wynne Bruce and his act, but it concerns me in a world where we spend so much time talking about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and uh, Will Smith and Chris Rock and celebrity culture, and so many people are ignoring the climate issue, as well as governments uh, constantly making promises and then not fulfilling them. It, it seems as though this action isn't going to actually have an impact, which is truly tragic. Uh, it's not, it, it is, in my opinion, admirable for someone to commit the act that like, uh, the way that Win Bruce did. Win Alan Bruce, uh, he, he clearly had a conviction. He clearly had a belief in that, uh, this would have an impact. And he clearly had, um, multiple things going on in his head, head and and he's a very strong person with strong faith and a strong uh viewpoint and i find i find it incredibly admirable and uh his conviction to the cause is is amazing uh and i think the real tragedy isn't that he did this but that he had to do this to make a point and that it might not have the effect that he would like it still concerns me that in the face of uh that nothing will change and that this won't change anything and that nothing will change anything uh, in the face of global capital and the refrain of the economy over the planet. Uh, I'm reminded that for many people, nothing can challenge the status quo and anyone who does is either regarded uh, as a crank or is imprisoned as a terrorist. Uh, we, we live in a, a, a world where people would rather <sighs> see you arrested for uh, standing up for your beliefs, then they they would ra then change anything. And while even if the mainstream grabbed on to win Bruce as an activist and as a uh, person to be admired, I suspect that we still won't get uh, any climate action. We won't still won't get any um, activity that uh, challenges the status quo in any sense.